Here, how about I put it all the way over here and then. Okay. Hello, hello my strong strong friends, long time no see. I took a little break, I had a baby. I was posting videos while I had the baby, but when she was a newborn, things were easier, at least for me. She slept during the day, I got to work while she was sleeping, it was nice. It's still nice, but now she doesn't sleep as much during the day, so that's great for many reasons. But um, I had to take a little break, see, on YouTube, but I'm back. What better way to than like a New Year's video? I wanna talk about some of my New Year goals. I love New Year's resolutions. If you know me, then you know I love New Year's resolutions. Say what you want about them, but my first New Year's resolution was to like, not ever, but my first fitness related New Year's resolution was like to start running then I ran a half marathon the following year I got into CrossFit I started lifting then the following year I was like I'm gonna do a bodybuilding show that one was a questionable decision but I did it and learned a lot along the way then I started powerlifting New Year's resolutions kind of brought me to who I am today and who you know me as so if you're new here, hello, my name's Meg. I make videos about lifting, fitness, nutrition, all kinds of things. So if you're on a new fitness journey, please subscribe to my channel. I promise I'm back. <laughs> and um, yeah, come have fun today, together, this year. And hello, I'm sorry for leaving you guys hanging for so long, but you know. Being a mother is somewhat time consuming. No one told me. Just kidding, everyone told me. Okay, let's go. Ready? Well, let me move this back a little bit. I'm pretty cold, just saying, like. Okay, grid thinks I can do six. I'm, I'll be happy with three or four. Oh God, that's hard. Come on, Meg. Okay, take a seat after that. <laughs> okay, that's maybe four and a half. That's pretty good. Okay, that's where I'm at. At the end of 2021. Let's see where I get next year. Okay, you guys have seen our buff chick barbell, the gym, obviously. And then you've seen our warehouse in my last video that I posted months ago. But one of my biggest 2022 goals is to move. I'm just throwing it out there, but we're thinking about buying a building. We've learned that the more we invest into our company and the people that are working with us, the better it is for everyone and our businesses. So, and obviously our clients and the people who trust us with products like Buff Chick supplements and things like Stronger by the Day. So that's the big plan. Right now, I do love this space, but there are some things that I don't love and the building that we're looking at that we're hoping for has all those things. So that's like my biggest, I guess, business and financial goal for next year is to move. Can you see it? It's right down the street. I don't think you can see it from here. No. But it's like, is it that way? Yeah. It's like- Because you turn right right there. It's like, so. Okay, you guys know me. I don't try to focus too much on physique goals, especially not for the new year. I like to set strength goals, things like my pull-up challenge, focusing on things that are a little more, for me, rewarding. I just wanted to do a little check-in, end of year check-in, um, and kind of just have it for my own record's sake. So let's do a physique check-in, see how we're doing. Overall, I feel really good. I'm um, looking back at my last video. I can tell I noticed definitely a change in body weight just in general. I do believe I'll just tighten things up a little bit with my nutrition in the new year, but let's see how it goes and tracking where I'm at today.
Okay, and I don't think I've weighed myself since that video. So oh, it's been a couple months. Let's see for our records how much I'm weighing. I'm gonna guess like 150. So 147, that is right around where I thought I would be. So yeah, that's just for my records. I'm not gonna focus on weight loss, but I will be interested to see what kind of physique changes I make, especially going into the warmer months into the summer. I might be kind of ready to feel more like myself because last summer I was super pregnant. Okay, my work day is almost finished and I'm just taking a look at some of my goals for 2022. Of course, I try to figure out like the four main areas of my life and that's work, my own personal fitness goals, family now, <laughs> and usually personal finance. I don't know what I wanna focus on for my own personal. Um, I feel like last year we set up a lot of those things so that they're more automated, so that feels really good, but work, I, like I mentioned, I'm really excited to add to our team and also maybe find a new home for our offices and a much better home so that we can continue to grow. I feel like our team deserves a great space to collaborate with each other and work with one another. Um, and yeah, hopefully that's in the cards for 2022. We really do have our heart set on the one building, um, but more to come on that. Hopefully that happens. For fitness, like I mentioned, I'm gonna focus on a new pull-up goal. I think I'll sign up for some sort of competition in 2022. I don't know, that seems pretty intense if I'm being honest, but maybe something to keep me moving forward or experimenting with something new like weightlifting or strongman. I have been running stronger by the day and using the I've been running stronger by the day for the past couple of weeks and using only the app, which is so exciting because I personally used to look on our website and write down everything in a notebook, but now this tracks every single workout. So it'll do the math for you and you don't have to worry about calculating your training maxes. Um. The app tracks all exercise data. Every main barbell lift will come with a suggested weight. As you progress week to week, you'll get a notification if your weights are too light or too heavy. The app will suggest an adjustment so you're always moving forward and not getting stuck in a plateau. When accessories are logged, you'll see a reference of your most recent performance so you know when to add weight. It can be difficult to track so many different things in a notebook, so the Stronger by the Day app makes it easier than ever to ensure you're pushing yourself even on those accessories. It does it. it keeps track of everything for you. It's amazing. So this will be available on January 3rd. I know I'm posting this before New Year's Eve, but if you've been interested in um, joining Stronger by the Day and you know the thing that's holding you back is the fact that we, that we don't have an app. We've been testing um, for the past couple of months and our users who have been running our programs already um, love it. So I'm so happy and yeah, I'll just be focusing on getting all my Stronger by the Day workouts in. I'm able to do five workouts a week, which is rare for me, as long as I go to the gym first thing in the morning. I meant to do that today, but I didn't. So, you know, I'm in that limbo between Christmas and New Year's, so I'm just rolling with it and I'll be back on the third with hopefully you. That's it. I do have some family goals, which are to just be more present in the moments that I have. I do think I'm really good with this, just putting my phone down and focusing on the people who are with me, but I think there's still room for improvement. Um, and that just comes along with getting used to my new life and trying to find a way to manage the work that I have to do and the time that I have to spend with Emerald. I don't want to be thinking about work when I'm with Emerald. That is like my worst nightmare. So yeah, I'm just getting better at organizing everything. And like you saw, I have grid now, so we have more support to help it me everything run smoothly and keep everyone moving forward. Anyway, my first video back, it's probably lackluster, um, but Yes, more to come. Thank you guys so much for still being here, if you are here. Um, thanks for being patient, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.